Well, that was a resounding yes please to a cut off short styling video. guys wanted some outfit ideas for cutoffs that we did in the last video and everybody was like yes 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 so I'm super stoked that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna give you all of the outfit ideas all the different ways that you can style cutoff shorts everything from a work meeting to a lunch date to running errands to date night to girls night so many options it really is as versatile as every pair of jeans that you own so I'm super stoked to get into it if you didn't catch that video last week I highly highly recommend you check it out I did 10 totally different techniques. We did everything from the long to the baggy to the super short to the angled, a bell bottom that gives you a flared short, adding long fringe, exposing the white threads. I also go through what to look for when you're thrifting for them because I really recommend thrifting because it's super addictive and you're gonna want to do 12. All right, why don't we start with the look I am wearing at the beginning, that keeps it easy. Okay, so I'm gonna do a really casual, easy breezy look. I'm wearing my creator hat, which I'll link below, it's part of my merch, wearing the jean shorts that I cut, low-waisted, baggy, slouchy, very easy. I'm wearing a rhinestone choker, some chunky sneakers. I could wear it just like this, but I'm gonna throw on a jacket just to kind of drive it home. This is something I feel like I could wear pretty much any time for a casual thing. This is something I could wear for a baseball tournament. I could wear lounging, running errands with my kids. You know, it, it's kind of like a really easy versatile look, almost slightly tomboy, which I love. I'm gonna wear the same shorts and I'm gonna dress them up just a little bit. So I'm gonna put on a black belt. I'm doing a little twist on my shirt. This is a way that I like to tuck shorts in that are a little, a little oversized. It creates a really cool ruching detail as you can see in the front chain necklace, pair of heels, and a leather jacket. I'm tucking my hair into the back of my jacket to create a faux bob, and I just feel like it elevates the look. Suddenly, I feel like I could wear this to a work meeting or to like a nicer lunch date. The baggy shorts are really in right now, and they're great for so many body types. They feel really comfortable, they're breezy, they're much more breathable in the summer, which I love. This is a great look. We're gonna keep those shorts, and the heels, and the belt, and we're gonna do a bit of a work look. So I'm doing a white button down, only tucked in the front with a black blazer, pulling my hair to the side, so I've got like a big heavy side part. You can see the cuffs of the sleeves of my shirt are out, and I also rolled over the cuff once. As you can see, it's really all about the styling elements that are gonna transform the look. So while the pieces themselves are very similar, it's just the details that really make them come to life. Now this is the pair that I did the bell bottom, right? So these were really tight black jeans. I cut a little slit and a bell bottom, which created a really cool look. Now, this little crystal top, I cut to be a V-neck in the back and straight in the front. I got this on Amazon, I'll link it below. It's a really cool piece that you can get stuck in, like a fish in a net, super fun. Um, but it's actually a really versatile piece because you can throw it over anything. You could throw it over any color t-shirt, long sleeve, short sleeve, and it's really fun. I thought this would be kind of a fun, like, girls brunchy vibe. It's like fun and sexy, but the flat boots make it feel a little bit more casual, but the all black is a vibe I was feeling and I wanted to stick with it. So here I've got a black muscle tee and you can see I like to tuck shirts like this whenever possible. It creates a really flattering effect. So it's only tucked in about six inches. Now when you're wearing a hat, if you wear it back on your head, it's more of like a bohemian vibe, bohemian vibe. If you wear it sort of straight forward, it's a little more of like a funky vibe. I like the funk, so I'm wearing it a little bit more forward. Black leather jacket, same boots. Again, this is a really cool vibe that you could wear, uh, I mean, I think always. I think the black on black on black is really chic and always classic and always in style. I'm gonna take that same shirt, but instead of tucking it in, I'm gonna leave it loosey-goosey. And of course, you don't have to do a exposed triangle bra. I have no boobs. So to me, that's a fun way to add a little sexiness to my outfit. This was an old blazer from my old clothing line, Tuck and West. It's really fun in the summer because it's like mesh and sheer, which is great. I layer it open with a necklace, same boots, so that it's again kind of casual feeling. Now this was a vibe I thought I could do for like a summery look, like a bathing suit. So imagine the black triangle bra was actually a bathing suit. I throw on some uh, sandals and like a kimono. Anytime you have a a roby jacket like this that has a tie, you can always tie it in the back. Not only is it a pretty detail, but it sort of narrows the waist a little bit, giving you some more shape. I popped a hat on, which the colors tied in perfectly and I loved it. The thing that I love so much about roby jackets like this is it gives you a lot of coverage. So you can still wear the short shorts, but it not only sort of slims the leg in the front, it also hides the leg in the back if you want that. I was really feeling the vibe. I wanted to like instantly be on vacation. 
Now this is kind of a crazy one, but I love it. You can wear your shorts as like a slip alternative. I will never forget in the seventh grade when I met my best friend, Danya, she was wearing jean cutoff shorts under a sheer rainbow skirt. And I have been chasing that high my whole life, always looking for a way to wear jean shorts as a slip. I love it. I think it's really cool and it takes an otherwise very feminine piece and funks it up a little bit, which feels very me, much more me than wearing like a little pretty black slip under a dress like this. So it's cool. Again, think outside the box. Think of ways that you could wear things differently. Do you guys remember this shirt? This was just a couple of weeks ago. I turned a tablecloth into a pair of pants and a shirt and I'm obsessed. This is one of my all time favorite DIYs and I've worn it like crazy. If you watch the video, you can probably tell that I actually took one full circle out. It was wider when the video ended. Since then, I took in the sides a little bit and I love it. I just felt like I could go to a festival. I could go on vacation. I belong in Hawaii rooftop brunching oh my god and these were the shorts that i added the long fringe to so if you guys caught that video this is how to add that really long fringe now i wanted a date night vibe i thought a little floral top would be pretty pulling my hair back and these lace up heels this really feels like first date vibes which i will never go on again because i have been married for a long time but you get the gist. I think it's really romantic, it's really pretty, and it just feels like elegant. Even though I'm wearing pretty short shorts, I feel really elegant and romantic and pretty. The long shorts, I'm so stoked that these are a trend. It works on so many body types, it's super comfortable, and I actually think it's a great style to dress up more. It works really, really well with heels in a more elevated way. I love this, this is just a little corset top, wearing it simply. This vest is very cool, utilitarian, and it is the perfect length. When you're dealing with long shorts like this, proportions are gonna be important. So if you're gonna drape things, you either want it to be at the waist, same length as the shorts, or floor length like this jacket. You don't really want anything that's gonna cut those shorts right in half. A breezy jacket like this is really cool. This is one of my favorite looks of the whole video. I would hands down wear this on a date night. I feel sexy, I feel glamorous, I feel sophisticated, elegant, like it's just a really, really flattering vibe, I think. And I don't know, it's so swishy. I felt so very swishy. <laughs> it's a good one. Okay, next up, we're gonna keep the shorts. I tucked in this shirt with my floral blazer and I was like, no, I like it out. But actually, I wish I had kept it tucked in. I think the proportions were actually better tucked in. Do you guys remember this blazer? I taught you how to do like water coloring, water coloring, one of my favorite jackets, um, really simple look. Okay, so these are like the shortest shorts I probably made in the video and I showed you how to do all this distressing. This is gonna be like a classic summer look, like maybe going to the beach. So I tried to decide between the sneakers and the black sandals and to me this tied in perfectly with the ribbon around my hat, so I went with the black. Again, this is like just such a classic summer look. This is kind of the way that we envision wearing jean shorts. A simple t-shirt, some flip-flops, a hat, sunglasses. So wearing them as they are sort of your go-to is great. Another fun option is like, imagine you're on the beach and then it gets chilly. Throw on a crop sweatshirt. Cool thing about high-waisted shorts is the crop sweatshirts and tops look great with it. Just as a really cool proportion, something oversized like this, balanced with the fact that the shorts are so short, big chunky sneakers, it's fun. So these sandals I DIY'd a long time ago. They are on my channel. One of the reasons I love them so much is that the black lace actually is really minimal. Like. It looks almost like I'm wearing flats because the rest of it's clear, but it just gives a little anchor right on the top of my foot. I pulled my hair back in a sleek low bun. I put on some sunglasses and this cropped blazer. And this feels like, I feel like I should be walking down Rodeo Drive. I don't know, I felt very like expensive in this outfit. And I just wanna show you the difference that little detail makes. I threw on baggier jean shorts that I like sort of slouchy cuffed on the outside and took my hair down. Same everything else, but the vibe totally changes when I change those two simple details. This is one of my favorite looks too. This is a top that I wear all the time because I can control how open or closed it is based off how I tuck it. I kept the shorts I was wearing, I kept the heels I was wearing, and I threw a white blazer. Looking at it, it felt unbalanced. So I was like, I either need to add in a black or I should switch to neutral heels. Love adding in my black crystal choker. You can wear the, the blazer open or closed. So many options here, but this felt again like a work meeting or something that's a little bit more sophisticated. I love this look. Okay, I think we're gonna call it quits because that could have gone on and on and on and on, but I think you get the gist of it. Give it a try. Again, if you didn't catch the actual shorts video, every pair of shorts that I wore today, I cut from Thrifted Jeans in the last video. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, I hope this sold you. I do brand new content every week and I'd love to have you. And for all of you that have been following me 
for all of these years. Number one, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And number two, check me out on TikTok if you have not already. I have a whole other style language series. It's a book that I'm writing. It's super fun. Tons of interesting content going on over there in addition to short form DIY content. So it should be right up your alley. All right, my dudes, I will see you guys next week. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. Thanks for being here with me. I love you.